Whoa, look at wow. this gap. Is this even a road? Oh my god, look. It's a cow head. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 52 on our round the world trip. So we are here in the town of Tinghir in Morocco and we stayed in this Riyadh, Riyadh Amadou last night and Bumblebee was just chilling here down in this courtyard area together with a couple of uh, goats that live over there. But it's super exciting. Let me show you where we're going to be heading today. So we are here in Tinghir. And we are going to be following the River Toldra up to Agudal on this road and then down the River Dardes back to reach the N10 to continue our journey this way. So this ride today is a bit of a detour but we get to explore the Toldra and the Dardes Gorges and from what we've seen they look absolutely incredible. So we didn't book an accommodation yet, we don't know really where we end up. It's about 130 miles of really windy roads, so I think it will be really beautiful. I can't wait, so let's hit the road. All right, just got to get up this ramp to start off the day. Woo, there we go. <laughs> There's always an obstacle to start the day, isn't there? Have a look at this place that we stayed last night. It's amazing, from the outside, you can see that it's just made of straw and mud. But honestly, on the inside, it looks like a four-star hotel. Yeah, it looked very modern, very nice, very clean. Wow, it's insane. Yeah. God, they can finish them so well on the inside. Salam. Unbelievable. Salam. Okay, good. Rock and roll. So it's like 8.30 now. We would have left earlier, but we had a little bit of a problem at the hotel. The booking that we had made on booking.com, we had already paid for online. And then uh, we called the number, the guy picked us up yesterday, took us to this hotel. Apparently the hotel he took us to is uh, completely separate to the booking we made on booking.com. And uh, they wanted uh, the room rate, which was more than he wanted originally. So we had to get that guy who picked us up yesterday to come back to the hotel and explain that we had already paid him and he took us to this hotel. And so in the end, he ended up paying the hotel because we had already paid him and it all worked out okay. But it was a little bit of stress in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always a little bit stressful. It's always a good tip to when you arrive at a hotel, first of all, show them the booking on booking.com. If you've already paid online, show them the booking. Make sure they have received the money, that everything is sorted. Luckily, everyone was nice in the end and it all, it all worked out okay. We are heading into these beautiful mountains in front of us. Yeah, wow, they look incredible actually. Look at that. Wow. Watch out for camels. We just had to stop and take a picture at the camel sign. <laughs> First a monkey sign and now a camel sign. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That is cool. Oh, I love it. Wow. Absolutely spectacular mm. towns. It is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Wow. You can't even really see the road that we're going to go down. It just looks like a wall of mountains, but somewhere in there, is flowing the river Todra and there's a road that we are going to take through there. Wow, it's incredible. To the gorge. Wow. And yeah, the temperature is 23 degrees. 23. Oh. I mean, it's like a cool summer's day in England. Yes. <laughs> it's worth waking up early and getting started, especially when you're going to ride in a gorge because then now the sun probably won't hit us for a little while. So <gasps> so wow. we can ride in peace. I love it. Yeah, 
Oh my god, this is like the the craziest ride I think we had so far, really. <laughs> Look at that! <gasps> That's grand, you know? That's big, big. The Grand Canyon of Morocco. <laughs> yes. This ride today is not about making any distance, it's just about having an awesome ride. <laughs> yes. Doing a little detour to do some amazing <gasps> valley roads. Wow! <laughs> And there's still lots of little cool little villages nestled in these valleys. This has like a green theme, this village. Everyone's like, what color should we paint our doors? And they've all decided green. Oh, but there's a red door here. Oh. Oh, boo! boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little bit scary. Look at that. Wow! Wow! It looks like it, is, it will fall like in no time. And there's like no protection on the edge of the road. Whoa, look wow. at this gap. Wow. Oh my God. Is this even a road? This is insane. Wow, well, what an absolutely awesome place to stop. Incredible. I think really it's the nicest place in Morocco because it's nice and fresh, you have water <laughs> here, you have, you have like the bird life and you have really nice views. And look, they've set up little cafes with tables and chairs actually out in the river. That's really cool. Oh, A whole bunch of birds and there's people selling lots of different rugs and carpets. And necklaces. All kinds of stuff. The landscape has really, really opened up now. So we've gone through the pinch part of the gorge, the last bit. And now look at these roads. The gorge just widens out and it's just, just epic. Yeah, and no, no one around really. No houses, no shops, just the road here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> People are out and about. Wow, yes, it looks like a little market here. Crazy. Whoa, look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. Hoppala. <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on. What can you buy at the market in the mountains? You can buy. Hello. You can buy a, a horse or a donkey. Some meat there. Ah, there is oranges here. Do you want some oranges? Okay. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, look. It's a cow head. Hello, hola. Some fruit and veg. And some nuts. Some oranges. Combien? Combien pour deux? Two kilo, one kilo. No, no, no. Just deux oranges. Ah, okay. Okay. Merci. Kadiram. Okay, Sibia. Shukram. What a location for a market, eh? Nice. Better get back to Lavi. Make sure she's all, all right. <laughs> Some oranges. We are here. Yes. Here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Germany here. Just, yes. yes. After here. Yeah. And then after here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. <laughs> Big way. You will make it in yes. this in this trajet. Yes. You make it in YouTube. Yes. Right? You. Agudal, Badez, and then Ozazit. 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 How you say? The big city. Ozazit. Ozazit. Good luck and good travel. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> nice. Wow. Cool. That's beautiful. Very nice. Wow, what cool people. Yes. 
I came back after going to buy some oranges. I came back and you were just like surrounded by kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gave them all uh, our chocolate. Did they ask you for chocolate? No, but I gave them the Oreos we had. Did you give them Oreos? Yeah, all of them. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart! <laughs> because, because I gave them and then they keep appearing and then I was like, ah, oh, no, for you as well, for you as well. Oh, they looked so, they were so cute, really. Did but I said to them, please share them. Ah, uh, yes, of course they'll share them. Well, look at this amazing rock formations over there. The way that the earth is just like swirling around in patterns. Hello! <laughs> well, the guy was unexpectedly very, very friendly. <laughs> this looks so cool, hey? Yeah, incredible. It's like the rocks have just been twisted and turned and pushed and pulled in all directions. Wow. Yeah, and it feels super remote here, just in this like valley surrounded by all these rocky cliffs. Yeah, it looks amazing. Want to explain what happened? <laughs> I wanted to uh, just pull off to the side, maybe stick a picture or something, uh, and I kind of misjudged how steep this thing, the camera of the road was. So then I sort of put my foot down, and it was like, oh no, too late. Nothing major, but now we've got to try and pick it up. And Bumblebee has a nap. We need to pick up the tank bag. The bike is nearly upside down. Yeah. I think we'll do the technique to walk it, to walk into it. You think so? Yeah. We're gonna both go down and we're both gonna walk into it like this. Put our pressure going this way. Stand down. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Wait a second, wait. No, I have to... let's do the monkey technique. Oh, yeah. You're hanging on the side. Yeah, I'm gonna push. There's two guys coming to help us because apparently we aren't able to do it. Oh, shukran! Oh, good. Standing. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably I think fall number nine now <laughs> I'm very sorry Bumblebee oh. for my misjudgment but we got some really nice pictures <laughs> <laughs> and we met these two cute little girls I have no idea what they're doing out here in the middle of the mountains in the middle of nowhere but we gave them the oranges that we got from the market and we gave them some water and everything seems to be working perfectly fine on the bike so no harm done and this is the town of Agudal which is the furthest we're going up into these mountains and then we are looping back down the Dardes Gorge along the Dardes River. Wow, it looks like a very, very pretty place. Very traditional. Yeah, and what a drive to get here, hey? Wow, yeah. It's been like absolutely crazy drive. So I think we'll just stop here in Agodal for a little rest, grab something to drink, and then prepare ourselves for the gorge ride number two. Gas oil super. Do we want to get some gas oil? How much do we have still left? Uh, <laughs> it says we've got a hundred miles left in the tank, but okay. it's like on the last one and it goes down really quick towards okay. the end. And we've got like 50 miles. Okay. So do you want to uh, maybe for like 50? Yeah. Uh, super. <laughs> Salam. Salam. Super 50, uh, 50 dirham. 50 dirham, yeah. Super gas Super! It's 50, yeah? Okay. Thank Shukran. First time, yes. Yeah, very beautiful. <gasps> very, very beautiful. Yeah, finding driving. Nice. Best. We would do up the road like this. Ah, this road? In this direction, you have a 40 kilometer uh, piece. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after is asphalt. Ah, uh, cool. Okay. So we do one mount. Is Three zero 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 meters. No. Ah. On the on the piste or on the asphalt? Yes. On the piste. Yes. After twenty. Is that is dangerous or no? No no no. It's no, it's okay. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay. We're just stopping for a nice coffee in Agudal. There's some guys just chilling here. 
Thank you, Shukran, Shukran. Thank you. It's very, very beautiful here with the mountain. Oh, I love it. Yes. Good. This road is like half under construction. And look at the, the loose gravel here. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh. I really hope there's no more of that to come. Oh no, sweetheart, there's a truck in front just dropping gravel. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh, I think that's not good. The chain. Oh, oh, it's not good. No. Not good. 